Okay, welcome to another stream. As as you have noticed, I'm streaming for the second time in like four days, which is more or less unbelievable. But the last one went well, so why not this one? Why not to try to make this one work too? So maybe you'll learn some new some new trip, tricky openings again, or you'll just be able to troll me. So we'll play the early title Tuesday. One of the rare times I actually could have a chance because everyone is playing at the European Club Cup. Not everyone, but many strong players. And Sasha Dove is already here trolling. But the 8-ball doesn't want to troll. It says unexpected identifier. So... Can I get confirmation all as well? Like you can see me, hear me, etc. We have four minutes. We have four minutes left. Before the tournament starts, and I'll be making, I'll be putting emote only chat, as we have always, we have always been doing. Well, I say we have always been doing, but I haven't streamed Title Tuesday in like two years. But we'll be doing emote only chat during games, so that there wouldn't be even a remote possibility of someone seeing moves in the chat. Maybe I can play a bullet game. Or not. I don't think it's allowed. Or maybe it is. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what to speak about, as the chat, the chat is, the chat is silent, if there's anyone there, so we'll just wait for two more minutes. Could do a puzzle or two, I suppose. Okay, I have six, now I have six are the moves, now I have six, king h8, h4. Seems quite reasonable, and he would have to play some h6. Rook d8 is not going to be able to come just yet, so... But if we go f6, then probably bishop d5 is annoying. Or not. No, there's bishop d5. Queen d, queen e6, queen f7. Okay, never mind. That was, I think, an notification about the tournament starting, so we're not going to do puzzles then. I'm pretty sure everyone will be watching the European Club Cup and nobody actually watching the stream. But okay, maybe that's going to give me more chances because I will be less trolled and distracted. One can only hope. There are still like 
500 or 600 players in the tournament, no matter that so many people are playing, playing over the board. Okay, time for the emotes only chat. If I can activate it, which I don't seem to be able to. Ah, oh, there we go. And that should be it. Okay, and tick five. Ah, oh, it's Martin Blahinka. He's not a bad player. I played him, I think, in Title Tuesday before. Um, just a second. Okay, we have the Rogozin. Let's play Bishop G5. All our standard stuff. Take it. E3, if castles will play the rooks in one. We always play the same openings. Like this is my old over the board repertoire, which I'm always playing. Entitled Tuesdays and in all online events, because it's simply something I know best. There's something wrong with the with the chat, but we'll deal with that later. Knight c6, something I have never seen before, probably due to knight e4, which I which I do even after cd4. The main line goes cd knight e4, queen e7, oh uh, queen d8, sorry, a no queen e7, sorry, a3, bishop a5, and then and then you do and then you do so you try to to attack somehow like queen d4, rook d8, queen e5, bishop b6, queen h5, if anyone can follow. And the way he's playing, it's probably, I mean, I could take a pawn, probably, probably it's the best, just to quickly check other options. Like bishop d3, c, uh, sorry, cd4, knight h4. The thing is, the queen, I think, trapped because queen h7 runs into knight f6. And all the other squares are covered, so this is probably even stronger. As of f5, I can take the pawn and then take with the rook, and I have this pawn chain. I have this pawn chain intact. Um, so so far so good. Not sure if you can. I mean, objectively, I'm for sure. I'm for sure winning. Okay, interesting. So first of all, knight is six. If it takes with the queen, there is bishop c four. If it takes with the bishop, then there is rook c six. So, I mean, knight d four is no good. I don't see it. I think it just doesn't know this opening too well, and he makes up basically every every possible line. Now the rook is hanging, the knight is hanging. He has to take. With the bishop, basically everything else loses. Now we take there. Rook c8. The, the problem is that this doesn't work. So knight e5 looks very logical. Queen a4 also makes sense. And so wait, knight e5 probably queen f6. Okay, that's not overthink. Overthinking is usually a problem. In my games, as I always enter time trouble. King goes to e8, that's relatively passive. Push b5 is a move. You know, I think I'm just gonna take, probably play like c1, should be. More than enough. I basically want bishop c4, trade the bishops, and then it should be clean to pawns. It's clean to pawns anyway, but. Okay, didn't see that. I was supposed to see it. Queen a1, maybe, and take there. It's not what I really want. Could probably play b3. No, I can't. 
Okay, I messed this up a bit. There's knight c6 also hitting the bishop. He goes bishop d6. Then go bishop c4, take, take. And it is winning. I don't know how, it, how easy, easily it is winning. Okay. Here he has queen e6. Okay, let's, let's just make a move. Only 29 seconds. Hey there, always stay humble. We're messing up some title Tuesday games. And we have to have emote only chat. Okay, let's make a loot for the king. We have to have emote only chat uh, while the games are played, so that there wouldn't be possibilities of anyone writing moves. I mean, there are some tricks, maybe with f4 or something. Let's go rook c1. Like f4, the idea would be this, but I would be able to take the e-pawn, of course. It's still completely winning, but I gave up a2 for no reason. Basically, zero reason for that. Just didn't see it. Okay, could go b4. Yeah, let's make a move. And I mess it up a bit, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. Should have gone d5 probably immediately. And not b4. Let's go d5 now then. No, I hung b4. This is the part when I'm messing up stuff in time travel. Now this is hanging and b5 is hanging, so it's probably still good. But taste seconds only. And also it's the part of the game where I should really shut up and focus. I had a6 then. I want d6. Okay, actually, let's make two pass pawns. He was supposed to go king g7 before, because now I get what I want. At least I should be getting what I want. Very sloppy game, but we got the win. Mm. Mm. Okay. Just a second, I need to I need to fix something. I'm still here just uh, trying to fix uh, fix stuff. Okay, there we go. And that should be that should be better. Now we can talk normally. If you want, of course. At least until at least until until the next game begins. Which is probably going to be quite soon. Uh, about the last game it was like where's games archive? Like it was it was all great. He didn't know the theory, bishop d3 was probably best. And now I somehow just messed up. Like queen c1 is no good, I gave up 
pawn for no reason. Don't the engine doesn't say it's so bad. I didn't want to play queen a4 so that because I wanted to keep the c file, but it's just not so important. And later I blundered. I blundered relatively a lot of things. First of all, he had he had uh, a6 here. And rook a1, I don't know, something d6 or something. Left or b4. Okay. We have uh, we have a game. So we're gonna be doing emotes only again. Uh, e4. Splash silly in this game. The viewers usually want to silly in, so. Let's stick with the Sicilian, like the seven. Hi there, Ripo. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for dropping by. Emote only chat is a necessity while playing competitive Title Tuesday games. Sorry about that. I'm switching it off between games. Uh, six. So far, we're, far, we're just following the, the main line of this stuff. Short castles is how the game, how it usually goes. Plays long castles. Mm. I've analyzed this like way too long ago to remember. Okay, it's bishop c6 can't be bad e5 takes, I suppose. It takes here twice, and then knight e5, I suppose. I suppose I just go bishop e8. Let's think a bit. Bishop e8, check, king c8. Is there some problem? Like knight a no, knight a4, I take. Bishop e8, knight e4, bishop e7, check, that's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. If somebody knows theory better, they can tell me after the game what I was supposed to do. Because <laughs> I really forgot everything in this line. Knight e4 I take. Knight e4 is now no longer an option, I think at least, because it takes rook d8 here. Takes Ah, knight c4. Completely forgot about that. Lovely. I suppose bishop c5 can be played. But what's the threat actually? Knight d6. Because knight b6 will just go up. Okay. Now let's make a developing move. He can technically take take go knight d4. I'll go bishop e7 back, and then he can give a chuck. And I probably go king c7 and take stakes, and it's probably an equally shunned game. But make, but the, I mean, I have a bishop, I'll play a 5h5, normal st standard stuff in the end game. Um, knight d6, yeah, now I have two options. I can obviously take and go bishop c6, which is probably best. I can also go king c7. Bishop c5. Yeah, but after knight h5 he has an idea double check, so I have to take. But the good thing is there are no access squares, like his knight is completely dominated, this is hanging, and yeah, seems okay. No, I suppose h6 I should play, takes takes, because if he trades, which he does, now I will have a threat on the g-file and I will be able to slowly improve, improve my pawn structure. And though he also has no weaknesses, objective with a position is equal, but with black, I have no problems whatsoever. At least I hope so. You guys already remember how horrible I am, how horrible of an endgame player I am. So I might be wrong. Uh, let's go h5 first. h5, h4 is usually useful to fix this weakness, so then there is no setup with h4, g3, f4 or something. Um, okay, that's a very interesting move, like you can go rook g8, yeah, I don't believe this, now he, if he goes g3, I go h4, and if he takes, I give a check and collect this, 
he goes g4, then I probably go f5, takes, and then collect this. And this pawn is very dangerous. So, and this, ah, okay. So I thought I have bishop, bishop b5, but I don't really. Anyway, I will still take, and now either rook h8, 3, 5. Let's go rook, <laughs> yeah, let's go here first. I'm trying to activate the rook. Yeah, e5 is... Oh, I gave him rook d6, maybe. Okay, let's stop it. I, I just forgot about that. Now let's go rook h2. Playing relatively sloppy. Can I go f5? I don't know if it's good, but I'm gonna do it. Some knight d4 stuff don't work. Or, I mean, I can even take with a check, but knight c3. Knight c3 stuff, and then I take and collect, collect f3. Okay, f4, f6, I'm not sure, because now his knight will be able to be attacked, maybe like this, and after my rook comes to g3. And he hasn't achieved too much. Ah, this is his idea, but... Okay, I go here. What's the point? King of 2, I take. This is a pin. Yeah, it goes back, admits the mistake. Um, let's go here. I'm not 100% sure if it's good. It has a clear idea, but maybe he can play like rook. If rook d5, I can go back. But maybe take, take, and then rook d5. Okay, let's see. Probably I should go. Or may, wait, maybe here. Yeah, let's try to go here. Now it will be a time scramble. So I, su I should shut up, shut up and play faster. If rook c5 here, b4, or rook c8, then I go bishop h5, I think. So now we go here. And here, I suppose. Uh, wait, here? I'm not sure if he can do this. Hopefully not. And now, I, after five moves, I have achieved nothing. So let's try to improve the pawn structure. Okay, pawns here. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Now I'm just not sure if I'm lost, but I'm worse. Now I'm probably just lost. Can't believe that I'm playing so badly. Basically, I had everything in this game. It's disgusting, but whatever. Many games I have you have seen me on stream are very disgusting. Um, okay, let's switch off emotes. In case you want, in case you want to troll me. Ah, e five. Allowing e five is no good. I'm supposed to play bishop e seven first. Okay. But queen e5, yeah. Queen e5, and then if queen b8, there's bishop f6. Because they're not playing good, they're not playing any special chess, but they just keep keep defeating me. Here I have no problems. Like if anyone's buried, it's black. And now I don't know. May, I'm not sure if I have anything, but then just this. E f4, yeah, E f4, and if he takes with the knight, then I collect the pawn. If he takes with the king, I to collect the knight. Yeah. Now instead of going here and here, and then rook h2, now I go here and and it mess up the whole thing. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> there are still nine more games.
I'm gonna stop thinking. I'm gonna stop getting into time trouble because they're not playing good chess. It's it's always been relatively annoying. It's always been relatively annoying to lose to to players who are just not playing not playing great. But chess is not fair. Um. I just not like the time trouble is the only thing they the time trouble is basically the only thing where they have a chance. So if they don't come into time trouble should be no problems. And this pawn is too strong, so I guess it's a draw. This one completely lost. And the third one. Okay, maybe I'm too used to, to long games from, from Kazakhstan Cup or, or whatever. Yeah, that's why, that's why I have my Lee Chess nickname as it is. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do this stuff again. Now let's play something sharp, I'm not in a good mood. I'm not in a good mood. I just want to play something extremely attacking. How do I do that? Probably e5 first. c5. a3, take, take. My favorite opening with black. How do I punish it with white? Let's go e4. The Bobby Fisher favorite line. Objectively, not, not the best, definitely, but it's playable. The point is just to give the square to the bishop. The bishop b5, if bishop is sound, then we go back. And the point is there's no longer bishop a6 idea. And our play will be based on the uh, castling rook e1 to, to make f6 less effective. Wait, knight c6? Does he want to take and go knight b4? Possibly, but I'll let him do that if he wants it. Then I'll go bishop a3, he will take d3, I'll take, and I mean, this diagonal should be relatively, relatively strong. When they don't play with queen a5, then my bishop doesn't have to go here. Okay, so now we could use the, the French plan, like knight g5, h6. Although h6 now, there is probably queen h5 too, so let's, let's just do it. Usually this is the, the French idea. To put the knight on h5, <laughs> considering he released the pressure on the c4 square, I can do it. I can technically take, but then I have several options. I could go queen somewhere, like to attack f7. I could also easily take queen c3 and then bishop e3 if I want to play it safely, which is maybe best. Just play it safely and then go queen g4, or queen h5 next move. Okay, yeah, this looks very suspicious. Like take take e6. It's probably too early for such things. But this is hanging, so I could take take go queen h5. I kinda like this. The point is g6, I will go queen h4, queen h6, and then the, there are really big weaknesses here. If he goes bishop e6, I take, the pin is there. 
if he castles, then it's checkmate, and it's not so easy to defend this stuff with bishops yet, then I can consider this. Okay, so he goes there, and now we probably play this move. If bishop is 6... Okay, the point is... Yeah, I made a bad move. That was a bad move. I was supposed to put, put the queen on h4. If we go queen g7, he will long castle. Okay, messing everything up today. We could take take and go bishop g5, bishop f6. Not sure how effective that is. I'd prefer not to give it the knight for this stupid bishop. Could go h4, h5. Okay, let's play dc. Point is, if queen c5, then I will be able to play bishop a3, I suppose, and start threatening some stuff. If it plays this, now long castles should be less desirable for him, I suppose. Knight c4. Okay, maybe just develop the bishop, I don't know, finish the development and then see, maybe rook b5 here. He castles there anyway. Okay, fair enough. I'm again entering into time trouble. Big time trouble. Okay, now I suppose I should take this stuff. This is also hanging. Queen d7, I could go rook b5 too. And the knight is nice, but it's uh, it's like controlled by the bishop relatively nicely for now. <clears throat> I'm still annoyed by the last game, by the way. More than a little annoyed. I could go queen c6, maybe that's better. But we can also take this one. The price is giving up e5. But it could be worth it. We can also play just normal moves. Okay, through e8. Then could again play normal moves. Try to double. I'm not sure if provoking a6 is good or bad. Um, I suppose go here, or take. I'm not gonna open up files. Don't think it's needed. Problem is this, this perpetual. Let's play, let's play a solid move, just defend. We are a pawn up, position objectively should be winning. Just the time trouble comes again. Queen c6. He wants to take, I suppose. Okay, then I will take first. I'll try to go here and then give checkmate. Take. I mean, I don't know if it's if it's passed, but I just want to exchange queens. Queen b7 was the same. You know, go here just for this. Ah, I didn't see 97, but it shouldn't matter that much. I hope so, at least. Let's eliminate the knight and then push, push these pawns. You could have taken this one first. 
It was bad, but I have too many pawns. Again, I was way too slow, but at least we got the win this time. Um, okay, you guys are free to shout again. Um, yeah, strategically, I think I played reasonably well. Knight just six, yeah, take, take. And here I was supposed to go to h4, because then after long castles, I take. And I mean, if bishop e6, then I can probably take and go here. So, Yeah, DC and Ruby one's probably good. And now I don't know. Takes, takes, Ruby five. Here I, I went, it was a bit sloppy, but still he doesn't really have a counterplay. So here I don't think he saw Queen A7, because that's relatively strong. Otherwise there would be, of course, uh, worse problems like D4 or something. But even takes is winning. Just not so clean. And this was relatively good. Uh, queen c4 was an option because after check here, queen c6, f3, it's again winning, but it didn't see f3 at, at, the mo at the point in the game, so everything else was easily winning. Um, yeah, I also didn't expect to go live for another six months, but I did. Not sure why. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see what do we get in the next game. Let's try to repeat the stuff from Kazakhstan Cup, where I lost this very stupid game in the beginning and then I won seven in a row. <laughs> we'll try to do that now. Maybe they will start falling for that Bishop G5 semi-terror stuff again. <laughs> okay. Chat star I want I want a prediction. How many how many points am I going to make in title Tuesday out of 11? I have two out of three. Yeah, he can't rematch for the bullet brawl. I'm not sure when that's gonna happen. But it is gonna happen. Okay, we're playing an F. Um, again, I have to make the emotes chat. Uh, let's keep keep fighting with the Sicilian. I haven't heard of this player before. Oh, I beat you once. Don't remember that. Could have been Bullet Brawl or something. Plays the Sicilian. The knight super sitting left by g6, bishop g7 here. Play knight to 6 yeah, sometimes... Okay, well, that's not supposed to be great, I think at least, because after h3, I take, take, then this knight stays. Stays relatively safe here and they continue with the plan. Please, that's my understanding of the position. It could be wrong. Because I don't have... I don't have a lot of experience in these lines. Let's be honest. Okay, let's cast it. I mean, I'm not too. I don't want to include h5, h4 stuff because his his play will be here, and my play will be here. If bishop h6, I can take and take c2. Sometimes they fall for it, but not very often. I want b5, b4, c space. Take, take. Now he can go bishop h6 if he wants, but I'm not sure if it's what he actually wants strategically. 
Because after it takes takes, this bishop could remain relatively passive. Okay, now it's actually interesting. I could take bc3. bc here, here, here. It looks kind of okay. If when h6 there is some knight f5, take, take. <laughs> it's relatively, it's relatively tempting, I have to say. Okay, let's just take. Play it simple, probably e5, f6. If he plays f4, just play f6, keeping everything intact and hoping that this bishop is just gonna be bad in the future. So, I mean, I really. <laughs> okay, let's let's do that. Let's play, play strategically. Okay, puts the knight there. And I really want to play tactically, but it's probably not good with f5. Okay, let's go rook 8, rook 8, 2 then. It's the normal plan. Knight g4, I'd probably go here. No. Okay, let's go queen d7 maybe. Now I'm expecting him to take, take, and go c3 to kick this knight. Not first, immediately this is not possible, but it goes there. Okay, this is now unfortunately not an option. I need to dislodge this knight somehow. More importantly, I need to not lose on time. What's my plan here? No, then he takes and goes here. Okay, let's just make a map. Again, thinking way too long. Now four of six, probably if takes to take with the deep one. Maybe F E is fine too. Actually let's make a that decision. If takes here, takes here. Queen F two. No, I don't really like that. I'll take with this. Which was my original idea anyway. Now he wants to take this, so it's probably time. Time for this, but I don't like my position. Yeah, I don't like my position here. I suppose white is better, but I'm not sure how much better. Like c3, I probably have to go back. Now I want, probably want to play f5, just considering his queen is here. Uh, I'm not good, I'm not sure if it's... Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not the best, but I have to make a move. Yeah, it wasn't best, it was just a strategical mistake, I think. But there are tactical tricks, I can hope at least, where something c2 is hanging. Like you can imagine the scenario, like take, rook c6, queen c6. I suppose works. Oh, I didn't see that at all. What's wrong with me? Now I probably just lose. I'm missing every move. What's wrong with me? Yeah, this is just not good. He will take. And then basic it basically resigns territory now. So I don't know what to, what to even try. Okay. I can try to flag or play for tricks. You go there. Ah now there's King Queen <laughs> Free. That's really bad. I mean, in whatever I try, it's just game over. This has not been a successful event.
King F2 and I can basically resign the game. Clearly I won't resign, but I could with a clear conscience at this point. We have to activate swindle mode and hope for the best. Let's attack a pawn. No, I can't go there. Why did I allow this? Or this for that matter. Yeah, whatever. That's just not okay. That's just not okay. You lost more games. In this tournament, I lost more games in this tournament than like in the I don't know. F five immediately. Okay, whatever. Just didn't see Queen C five. But it was more or less a flawless game by White. You have to say that. Okay, I'm just curious about the accuracy here because this is this has been like very strong. Can't like, only ninety. Wait, I had something here. Wait. Take and what then? Oh, well, okay. No, then I'm just stupid. Then the accuracy is not fine. But if I don't see that, I don't deserve to win. Tramnik suspected one in five title players cheat in line, not implying anything in this game. No, not only that I agree, I think it's, I think it's extremely popular. I'm very annoyed by how this goes. And about the chronic stuff, I like one hundred percent agree with him. There are so many suspicious statistics for for some players, but Without anti cheating measures in events like Title Tuesday and so on, it's basically impossible to prove anything for anyone. Mm. It's just a big, big problem. I, I don't think my opponent cheated here. I'm pretty sure he didn't. Like, I just didn't see Bishop H6 before 92. It was winning on the spot. But later he played, he played very well. Very strong moves, in, especially in the end. Okay. I thought I had a chance of King f4, King e4, but I didn't. Now it's actually a break. Might as well. Yeah. Streaming these title Tuesdays is probably not not smart. His points are valid, but don't you think he's just way too paranoid? Because it's hard for someone of his caliber to accept losing to someone rated around 400 points lower than him. I mean, technically you could say, but I don't think he's too paranoid at all. Like, uh, 
especially with all the ways it's possible to cheat online. It's just very, very easy these days. There are just some applications, bots or whatever. If there isn't screen sharing, people can smart cheat. Uh, I don't know if they're ever going to be discovered. I mean, I worked, I I was catching cheaters over the board. I, I uh, was a moderator for online cheating and it's just, it's an extremely big problem you, because you just don't know. You just don't know. And every tournament, every official tournament is basically a gamble if there are no anti-cheating measures. If there are, then it's a different story. But it's, otherwise, it's just a gamble. You run into one cheater, your tournament is gone. That, that's just my take on this. Some FM who I've never heard of just beat Duda and three other strong players. Very interesting. Were any of the over the board cheaters styled? One was 1900 and one was an FM at that time. He was 2400. Was European European Championship? I talk about talked about this many times already on streams. Don't think I'm gonna talk about that today. Yeah, beat the cheater easy. Like when you suspect a when I suspect a cheater, for example, I always try to play just some either to play a long, either make some like close the position, make some fortress, and then play five hundred moves, or I try to. Or I try to just make some completely even endgame, like Berlin endgame or something, something very symmetrical, where they just have to make very a lot of moves to prove something. They will have played me sooner or later, but in the end you can flag, you can flag them, or at least force them to have to play an increment where they, where they will have to play play themselves. But one wrong move and. One wrong move and uh, basically everything is everything is gone. Um. Okay. Now there is no more room for mistakes. We have to win. We have to win all of the games, and even if we do that, we probably don't win the prize. That's how the LTSA works these days. Usually nine was enough. Like in 2022, I won like three, three or four prizes with nine. Now with nine, you maybe can catch fifth prize if you have a great tiebreak. It's just how popular the tournament be has become and how and how many players there are. 570 players. Let's see how how long there is. Ah, it starts now. Okay. Uh, go to emotes. Now I'm playing someone who has more points than me. Is an FM and 2400. I don't know, we'll see. Let's play the normal line. I hate this line. Okay, let's let's do this.
novelty. Yeah, sorry about that. Just trying to click on on which to look at chart. Don't play this by the way guys, it's not good. I just want him to think. I just played I just played this like from my head. The main line was of course um, queen d3 stuff here, queen d3 and then they can go c4, rook c8, the game goes on. And now I just, I'll just i just play slowly, okay it goes 94. I suppose I have to take. Now I got a pawn back. A little bit worse development, but this pawn is weak, so I'm not sure how to evaluate it, but it's not so important. I mean, I have to go here, he will play e5. And then I have to be clever, which I'm usually not. Let's go here. If he goes 94, I mean, this 95 take, 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 bishop h3 won't give enough counterplay, I'm, I fear. And then let's just go here. Now I want to take and take the, take the knight. The bishop does look stupid, but it controls some vital squares. d3 I don't think I'm too afraid of. F5, yeah, I wanted to say, it's probably best. This knight is stupid, I need to bring it either here, or exchange it for this. Don't like either, honestly. Is there 95? Take, 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 bishop of 6. 96, take, take, 94. Weird position. I don't know, but I want to change the course of the game, honestly, because I'm just getting positionally crushed. If I'm blundering something, let it, let it be. It's already been... It's already been a suffering in this tournament. A big suffering. Yeah, this is the position I wasn't sure about. Once here. Maybe black is the one somewhat better. I'm giving up the squares with e3, but I need I need rook c1 to to do this. Although now he can take take this, then go knight f3. King g2 knight d4. My position is just not good. I I will try for something. I need. I mean, my counterplay relies with the with the G and H pawns for sure. If we're taking this, we'll run into some some nonsense. Just will follow this plan. Maybe here because here bishop f5, then bishop g6. Probably have to preserve this pawn. The knight is very far from attacking here, and this should 
should be easier to, to target. But this guy's playing way better than 24, 49, that's 100% sure. Maybe it's a new account, I don't know. No, January 17, 2015. Okay, how to take knight of five. Take. Okay, now I have chances. Hopefully. Go here, I suppose. Then he goes knight c4. Okay, it will be some race. I'm not sure if it has an effective way of stopping my pawn. Maybe bishop b4 is good. Knight e5. I hope I calculated everything correctly. <sighs> now we win. We win, but barely. The easiest way is, I guess, to bring the king to the other side, as his king is just cut off. Horrible game, but we got the win. Okay, you're free to talk now. Yeah, Queen State should bad. Should be playing novelties from my head. This is better for me, really. Bishop page six. Can't believe. I believe that ah bishop h6 because because then if f5 then there's bishop just and bishop e5 that's actually easy and here i wasn't happy with my position knight c1 was better yeah the engine says it's actually not so bad yeah king e2 and this race, ah, rook b7 was better, but I wasn't sure. Like, okay, here he probably had. I thought he had bishop b4, but maybe. Yeah, here I, I found a way to win. But uh, this this was actually interesting. Rook b7, I wasn't sure. Like, takes h7, knight d3, king d2. Ah, king c2, and okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's no good discovery. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And the engine says some knight a4 here and b2, and like, it's probably a draw. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, barely is enough, but 3 out of 5. Your rough opponent right now is my friend, and he played the Makugona versus me over the board in the tournament. Oh, okay. And that's fair. He played really well here too. I don't know, that end game was that end game was just very complicated. How do you sense there is a counterplay by opponent? Just uh, like you see the potential of the pieces, meaning where the pieces could go and how fast they can go there to, to create some problems for your uh, to create some weakness or something something similar. 
it's just something that comes when you play more when you play more and uh, the the instinct gets there for you okay let's play some king's indian stuff or d5 now i don't want d6 because then we get into the stuff i don't want and that if i was not so great here i think um Okay, let's play the knight b8 line. When you put the knight on c7, it usually doesn't have prospects. And when you put it on b8, it usually goes like to d7 to, to fight for the e5 square. That's why you put it on b8, usually. Yeah, now we have actually this position, which I actually which I like a lot with white. Now I have to defend it with black. Another problem is that I already castled. Once g4, that's very clear. There is a point to taking with the pawn. g4, take, 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 take. No, I'll play in a different way. I will take only once on g4. They will play f5 and they will try to defend with the bishop pair. Or I will try to push f4. It's also a viable option. f4, h5, take, take, queen g5. I don't know, but I'm just gonna play for my instinct now. Playing on calculation doesn't really work on title Tuesday. Queen d2. It's possible that this is not a good move. I will try to aim for this because obviously he wants to long castle. He's not going to short castle. Uh, so I will try to, to create some threats on this pawn. And even though he does have this counterplay, I'm hoping that my counterplay will be faster. Like for example, now when you sense counterplay, you see the potential of the rooks, of the rook, where what he can do and how fast he can do it, and you 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 see that there is a that there is counterplay on the side of the board, parallel to this um, counterplay. Okay, it does this. Hm. Take, take, queen e7 is possible. I actually like it. There's a pin here, so if he moves the knight to some stupid square, then I will go f3. He plays f3 himself. I mean, there's bishop f5. There's maybe also f5, but bishop f5 looks normal. Just developing a piece. And okay, there. Now at least I can go here. I will go rook d8, I will try to attack this pawn, maybe bishop g7, and now if h5, g5, my piece is already here defending defending the key squares, so it should be good. The problem is here now, queen f4. You can go queen e3, which is, I suppose, the best, because he doesn't want to allow the passed pawn with queen e3, otherwise I will trade queens and there is no more attack and my two bishop, bishops should be great in the endgame. Um, okay, I think I take now, and I mean, g5 looks normal, but it's not the only move. Bishop g7 also is, is very viable. Okay, let's, let's make a move. I'm already one minute down on the clock, which is horrible. Oh, wait. This, Whatever. I'm not gonna be streaming Title Tuesdays anymore, that's for sure. Now we have to go back to swindle mode and hope for the best. Which probably won't happen. D5, C5, basically only move, trying to close stuff down. 
and the bishop pair is not so effective when it has to face the rooks instead of the knights. You won't learn anything from my play today, unfortunately. Last time it was much better in that sense. I'll try to put the bishop here. Cause some problems. I don't care about a2, I care about f3. He will be able... Okay, how do I do this, actually? Okay, I will go b5. I can go knight c3, then I go bishop. Bishop b6, d5 is annoying, because after bishop c3, this is chuck. So I will have to take with something. This, I thought, is less annoying. Maybe I'm wrong. Here I will try g4 and then bishop d4. Or rook d4. Here it's a similar story. There is a check. My position is still not great, but at least there are some practical chances for some swindling or, or something similar. If I can play for his time or something, then it could get better. Okay, do I take rook g2, king f5? Okay, let's give a check first. Takes rook g2, king f5, knight g5. Free can give five, I suppose I can do it. Can take it. Do we can his king with that move, but I'm not sure how how much. Not sure if I still go here. And my clever plan is to go rook b8, king a2, bishop c4. That's why I put the bishop on a2. Horrible game, but we get the win. I'm neither happy with my play or my results. I mean, the play wasn't so bad up until this point. This was fine. Take, take. F5. Queen. Yeah. Okay. F3, F3, bishop h6 was, was better. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. H5, G5, and so on. Here I was still better. That's 100%. G5, bishop g7. But I need to take t4, bishop g6, and stupid blunder. It's like, I, I, I don't know how can I blunder such things. I would. It's probably because I'm too used to two longer time controls. But yeah, the bishop pair got some, some prospects here. And bishop b2 I spotted relatively nicely. Okay, there we go. Uh... Ah, you love the game. <laughs> it was full of excitement. Oh, hi, Nicola. Welcome to another stream. Glad to see you. Give someone a mod it, don't worry about emo chat. That means that somebody's going to watch my my stream all the time, which is usually not so in such a great way to spend time. Besides, I'm streaming so rarely that it's not. It's so annoying I don't have cool emotes anymore. Get them. Sub to. <laughs> this is one of Nihal's favorite systems with why I remember. Yeah, he also likes it. I, but I started playing it way earlier than him. Like, I played it like six years ago. You understood the counterplay also? So it goes hand to hand with seeing the initiative. It's basically the same thing. Like, the counterplay is when you attack, when you usually attack something or try to go for some weakness or something and see how, how he can fights against this, and if he can't, then if he can do something else on the other side of the board, usually. So.
yeah, it's good to see me, but it's not good to see my chest. That's that's how it goes. Kolenko is also not doing that great. This is, I think, the player who Kramnik lost against in the in the some rapid event, I think, and thought that he was cheating. Yeah, chess will improve. Twenty nine hundred is not good enough. I mean, what I blundered today in not these games is just out of this world. True, it's harder when I'm streaming, but still, no excuse for these blunders. Yeah, in the Champions Chester qualifiers. And I'm pretty sure I also found him suspicious because I have him blocked. And I do that with players I suspect are possible cheaters, not saying anything, but I don't feel like playing against them. You can say that that's not like that's not the right thing to do, but it's just like on tournaments you will get paired with them anyway, and casual games you you would prefer always to play against players you are sure are clean. If you're not sure, then Hi Pochem Knight, uh, glad you're visiting the stream. Nice playing the last game, I thought you were lost for most of the game. I mean, I had a great position out of the opening, and then after I blundered the exchange, I didn't see bishop c4 at all. Then I just, I mean, I exchanged down, but my two bishops, my two bishops got me some counterplay, and in the end, because of time trouble, my opponent blundered, so you're completely right. Yes, me here. It seem it's probably reasonable. Um, they allowed that player Parham to play on Chess.com, so I know I don't know if they're doing any proper job against cheaters. I mean, Parham is somebody who got banned on lead chess, and I'm not sure about Chess.com, but he's somebody I've never, I'd never believed is an actual cheater. Honestly, Be from my own perspective, I don't know what if they if they possibly saw something in the on his Zoom call, but I never saw anything suspicious in his in his games, so... And I, I'm not sure if he got banned on chess.com too. Uh, but chess.com's policy is that they give... Uh, Bishop b2 is better than Bishop d3, just more chances for an advantage at this line, just an opening tip. Um, but Chess.com, if, if cheaters apologize and promise to never do that again, Chess.com gives them a second chance, giving, bringing them back on the side and just like allowing them to play everything again. If they cheat for the second time, then they don't get a third chance. That's at least how I understand the Chess.com policy. But if somebody cheats, like even in 10 tournaments or whatever, um, This is the line, like queen b3, rook b8, queen a3. Exchanging the queens, and you play a slightly better endgame with a pawn up, which is not a great pawn, but it is a pawn. And for, for example, they, they allowed after Armenia Eagles, Armenia Eagles uh, have been disqualified for cheating, and they allowed, they allowed the players, I think, back. Even though I'm not 100% sure how, how it went. Just have to ask Shaz there to come. But they, they allowed it's the the public thing, which was said, was that Neiman was uh, probably take this rook c one doesn't feel so good. Um, but Neiman admitted cheating, and he was allowed back on the side, right? That's official, as far as I know. After he admitted, apologized, and promised to never do such things again. When he was 12 or so. Do you go bishop d1 or rook e1? 
mean, both moves seem attractive with bishop d1 and not holding this pawn anymore under aim, but I want maybe bishop d3. And rook e1 was keeping the same. Once here makes a lot of sense. It's possible that I misplayed this somewhere. I think it's more than possible actually. I think it's likely. Because knight e5, maybe knight e5 anyway. Knight c4, maybe take. So, but takes doesn't seem so good actually. And here I go to d7 and then to c5, then there are some things I can attack. I think he was supposed to go knight c4, but I'm not sure. Goes knight c4. Now I go there. I'm missing tactics. Why am I missing tactics today? It's really not good. Okay. I'm usually known as a good tactician, but today I'm missing clear stuff. Takes king h1, and probably the objective seems drawish, I suppose. Okay, he doesn't see it, fortunately. So bad. So bad. Bishop c2 is also not a good move. I can take this, I can go rook c1 first. Maybe rook c1 is better. Now both of these things are hanging. This one seems more valuable because after that some other things should fall apart. Uh, there I take... He takes there and now probably just g4. I don't have to give a check first. Rook c2, he will go there. And knight c2. Yeah, okay, knight c2, but I still can go like at least rook b1. Okay, I didn't see this move. Keep missing. Keep missing things today. I think I just run the king up the board. He goes there, then it collects. I was probably supposed to give that check to keep the rooks on the board. My rook was better than his. Okay, I think I go here. Reason being here, I go king c2. And now if he goes there, then I collect a pawn. If he goes to a1, I collect a knight. Take. He could have searched for counterplay in a better way too. Had he gone for some king g6, king g5. But I'm not gonna complain about my opponents making inaccuracies, that's for sure. You would be surprised how many of completely winning positions like this one I destroyed in my career. Because of my horrible technique in endgames. Like by far my worst. It's by far, far my worst uh, trait in chess and gameplay. This knight is very stupid, man. And I suppose this, because his knight 
doesn't have squares and his king also can't move and they just bring the king now the knight is also stuck and now I go there and now it's over it's not stalemate just in case I will take the spawn and there we go Okay, emo chat is, is turned off again. You can talk. I screwed it up somewhere. The line itself is somewhat better for white. Ah, exactly, night day 4 is the line. Now I remember, I analyzed this for, for my unpublished chess course. Night day 4 is better, so it stops. Rook b2. And here I don't have much. I think he was supposed to play knight c4. And I just didn't see that he can do this. I just didn't see. Like, who knows? Okay, objectively, this... I thought it's a draw, but... I guess this is somewhat better for him because of the A pawn. Uh, other than that, this was a horrible move, yeah. And here I think I'm supposed to give a check. Unknown, oh, there's knight b4. Takes the pawn. Okay. Just don't see things. Like, what I thought I should have done was rook c8 and then g4. Keep the rooks and then my rook is empty. Okay, whatever. Uh, you mean Lee just banned him? Not chess.com and plus chess.com allows every cheater who accepts their mistake and gives them a new account? Yeah, exactly. Um, any idea on what's the deal with the PP Pampers guy from Armenia Eagles? Because they're like two or three Tigran Petrosians, which is very confusing. I just want to know if he's active over the board after his controversies online. I mean, he's Tigran L Petrosian, so search him as Tigran L. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Pajan. Every game is a battle because there are no easy opponents. Everyone is titled, everyone is strong. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was a good game, Ipo, but... And by the way, we're getting stronger and stronger opponents these days. <sighs> My opponent is also streaming, Greek player. I found 27 ton. I'll play the King's Indian stuff as I had to and basically win every single game. I suppose I'll play like this against it. Mm -hmm. Like when they try to dry out the position, it's it's so annoying. He won't counterplay, but you're not sure where to get it. Playing for a win with black is so tricky. It's so tricky in this online chess era, just because of the of the engines and so on. I should probably take a3, bishop c1, c6 or 5. Hmm. You know, so tempted to go a3 just to just to try to make something happen. I know it's objectively not good. And I don't know, but the feeling sounds so. Uh... The other hand, my chest feeling is usually wrong. So let's go for that. And just put the queen somewhere. Maybe a6 was a better square because then it's supposed to be five ideas. Possi it's possible that I played it a bit too quickly. Let's provoke g4 if he really wants to play it. I'm not sure if he does. Then I will retreat the bishop. And if he doesn't do that, then I will go knight e4 to activate the bishop. The square could be weak. Okay, he just plays solidly. As we expected. Now c5 is an option, technically. 
Oh, it's not so good. Let's go here then. Maybe b5, as I mentioned before. I don't know, let's play it. I need to play fast and not make stupid decisions. Okay, take. Do I go c5 maybe? Probably not. Let's play queen d7. I want to trap the bishop. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I wish there is some way to like win on the spot, but there isn't. Because if I take, he takes this. Then we'll play it slowly. Oh, 94. It's a good move, I suppose. Without the knights on the board, it's a bit trickier to win, but not shouldn't be that tricky. I need to open files for the rooks, and that should that should be that should be it. Maybe it just takes and queen be sub. Hmm? I mean, it should really be good enough. So. I do have more bishops than him. Maybe e5 was strategically better. I will try to play e5. Here. He'll go d5, I suppose, but then I should have some sort of a blockade. Even when I put the bishop here. But it didn't play this too well. I guess it's my because of my poor end game play. Which I already mentioned. Maybe I should go e4 and just plant the bishop in b2. Though it's not so I mean, I'm giving up a pawn if I do that. Okay, it doesn't matter. I just don't know how to play strategically, obviously, so I'll play technically. And this is now solid. Okay, now we need to triple on this pawn, I suppose. Or not. I will stop this pawn, and if he do, if he pushes this one, it shouldn't go that far. Hopefully. Maybe queen d6 is good. Rook c5, rook c8. And now I can maybe triple finally. I wouldn't be surprised that I messed this game up also. E4. Yeah, I'm messing this up, really.
I know how can I play so badly. I really don't. No comments, just no comments. Okay, now it's another break and it's it's questions time, so it's just chatting time. You can ask me anything, whatever you feel like. And I'll be answering. Mm. The way I'm playing today is just really, really bad. I guess he was also because of his, he was streaming. Oh, A3 was best. But C5. No, oh, I thought Queen A6, but B5 is good. The engine doesn't say anything special, basically. I didn't want to play c5, I wanted to play with b5. And like, now I'm completely winning. Completely. And I managed to mess, mess up the position. e4 is unnecessary, I wanted to block the b5. The engine actually doesn't say it's so bad, but it's just allowed tons of counterplay. When I allowed e4, I was just not in time with takes. Now it's equal. Yeah, queen a2 is f, there is f5. Now there's d7, because if I ever move d7, rook d8, then he place somewhere with the queen and just advances. Now he blundered this. Yeah, there was this stuff. <laughs> I saw uh, this one I saw like uh, rook b2, a b, e d, there is queen a2 and my king controls this and this should be game over. Here I almost messed up something. Horrible. Maybe play without d5 until all the pieces get improved? Yeah, very possibly. Just like put rooks on d8 and c8 and then do that. Other option would be to play with e5. And then he, if he plays d5, then I play f5 and e4. And everything is great. And if she plays uh, after e5, just stays put, then I uh, I take d4 and my bishop hits, hits d4. So. No, of course you're not. You would play that much better than me, uh, Nicola. I mean, you saw that I screwed up everything. I was, I was even probably lost. Yeah, yeah, I was just supposed to improve the pieces first and then, then do something. Like, there are so many players with more points than me. I'm afraid of third place. And so far I've only played lower-rated opponents because of, because of the horribleness of, of my play in early rounds. Um, 
Yeah, it gets tricky. I should be ashamed of this play. It's not, it's not worth the GM level. Like I'm trying, but I don't know if it's due to streaming. As I'm, I last time streamed Tile Tuesday two years ago. Or is it because I'm just so bad? <laughs> or both? Um. But okay, we need to win three more games. Sorry about that, just had to check. Do you play any other games than Chaos? I mean, in general, no. I played some video games when I was younger. Like, a lot younger. But these days, not only these days, but for many years, I'm not focusing on Chaos. And I also hope the camera brightness is better than it was four days ago or three days ago, whenever that was. I tried to fix the settings. Usually it was was very dark when it was late. Now it seems better. We got back some of our rating. <laughs> With six out of eight, I think I'm losing 15 points or so. What did we start with actually? We started with 29.23. Yeah, we were 15 points down. I don't I'm not even sure if there is a there is a theoretical chance to get the prize with nine out of I don't have eleven now. But we'll try. With this kind of play it's hard to imagine nine out of eleven. So I'll probably run into some some strong GM. Probably not next game, but the game after the next game. If I win the next game, which is far from far from a certainty, even if I'm playing a low rated. Okay, you still haven't given me a prediction on how many points. Oh, great! <laughs> this is probably the worst pairing I could have gotten. Because this is uh, Manuel Petrosian, who is like 26 something. It is lower rated here. Well, at least it should be an interesting game. I think he plays the rock goes in, so I'm gonna have the bishop g5 line again. Sorry that the openings are boring because they're always the same, but I want to keep my chances there. Okay, the 96 line we've had this one on the Kazakhstan Cup, p5 castles takes, there is knight d5, 
which is one of the lines. Other ones, other one is takes takes here, bishop d5. Both relatively playable for black. White may be tiny bit there. But at least, uh, at least I got the time advantage. If rook d8, their ideas of takes takes in knight e5, for example. There's also queen b3. I don't remember what, what the best move is. Maybe bishop b4 is best. Queen b3, knight a5, I wouldn't do. Bishop c6, b c, h3. Take six. It's probably not that great. Let's go here then. Rook eight is an option. Seems very logical. Queen c two. Now I want to take and take this. If takes takes, I'm holding everything together. I think. And I'm opening the c-file. If bishop here, then I take and... Maybe he should take, he should do this, take, take, play b6, trying to go knight a5. Or cd I wouldn't do, cd I don't like. Unless I'm blundering some tactics, not before I didn't see. I suppose queen b1 works, but I suppose to see that. It's because I'm playing too fast this game. But taught with with the experience, I'm not trying I'm not planning to go into time trouble anymore in this tournament. Queen b1, I suppose, is good. Unless there is something stronger. Could also go h3 first, but I don't think I want to, so that knight e5 in some lines is an attack on this bishop. Now I'm hitting here. It's actually an interesting line. If b6, maybe I can take with the rook. Rook takes knight e5. If rook e5, d, then the queen hangs and they take this. And if he moves the rook like to e6, then I take with a tempi and go bishop f3. It could be quite good, actually. Unless I'm blundering something, as always. Because the normal line, take, 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 95, 26, I'm not sure how much it gets me. He's low on time. I hope I can exploit that. <laughs> as, as others have been exploiting against me. For this whole tournament. Okay, now let's calculate. Take, take, 95. Okay, let's take first because now this is a spare option. But 95. Rook e5, d. Queen somewhere I take. 95, rook. Somewhere I take this. Yeah, I don't see it. If he has a win, let it be. Okay, now we take and bishop f3. Or bishop f5, but probably to f3 is better. And the knight will be able to come to e5 back. Yeah, c5, now he's trying to make me pawn isolated, but I think I just continue with the plan. Like, take, take. He's attacking stuff. They can go knight c6, or queen b4 also. Knight c6, queen d6. Queen b4 also, queen d6. Hmm. Okay, I will play it simple. d5, rook f6, and 
could take allowing rook f3, but it's probably not so important. I can also go rook e1, which is maybe easier to destroy his only active piece. Okay, let's do that. Loses on time. Okay. So it's probably the first decent game I played today. Um, let's see. So, I mean, maybe it's uh, maybe it's better objectively to play this line, like take six, queen d six, and just like play play this this line, or it's queen b four here, just. But this what he what he played is also like I had the game against Karyakin and someone else already in the database. Bishop c six is maybe slightly better. This is what I was saying in, during the game. Like it's free. Take 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 take. But I wasn't sure. Like it's rook d five c five. I don't know. Bishop e four. I played more solidly. And here, knight before I didn't see at all, but fortunately it doesn't work because of queen b1 and knight a2 rook c7 or, or something like that. Yeah, this was nice, the knight e5 tactics. Okay, there we go. 2 e2 instead of d5? Um. I mean, I know that bishop d5 is supposed to be the best theoretically, but probably you're right that it's very playable to play uh, bishop b2. Uh, so you can play bishop b2, then they go rook d8, and I don't know, maybe queen b3. No, queen b3 you don't play because of e4. Something like this, I don't know. The problem is you cannot take, and he will. In the future, play b6, knight, 5, c5, try to do something like that. It's a playable position, of course. The problem is that because of such a horrible tiebreak, I'm very down on the on the rankings because I lost like I lost in the beginning of the tournament. It gives all advantage back. There isn't much advantage even after bishop d5. That's such a chess. <laughs> like, there is no advantage if black knows what they're doing. Okay, we are at seven. I will try. Who do we want to watch? Maybe Peruvian. I'm surprised that why well, didn't take. Okay, now there is check. No, there isn't check. There were six. And that's why the engine bar went up. Here it's a draw. It's actually a relatively easy draw. Okay. And now, can I be so fortunate to be to play against lower rated? With seven out of ten, probably not. Don't think I can be so fortunate. Let's see. We have high rated, low rated, low rated, high rated, low rated, high, low, high, high, low, 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 high, low. No, then we get, then we get, uh, then we get a low rated opponent. Surprisingly enough. With seven out of nine, I guess it's also because, first of all, my rating is relatively high, twenty nine hundred, and secondly, and secondly, all the not all but many top players are playing the the European Club Cup. With your luck, you're playing Hikaru next, <laughs> and he has eight out of nine. <laughs> we will know that that that's like. Uh, that's like uh, this. Uh, 
Okay, now there are no, not so many player, people in the chat anyway. Uh, this is Chonka Balash from Hungary. Not a bad player at all. But it's not Hikaru. Let's play this line. Now if I play knight c6 it will transpose into to the normal line. c4 here is probably not so great. Even though I'm tempted to play such a thing. <laughs> What's it with, what's with f6? Probably not good. Okay, yeah, then let's play this. I'm giving him an advantage out of the opening. This is not a great line. Don't play this. Chat, don't play this. It doesn't have a certificate approval by me. But it has a strategical point, get rid of the bad French bishop, which we have done now, and hope for the best. But he has way more space, clearly. Here. I will go for this and kingside castles. Not sure if I should play h6 or h5. Both are possible. There are usually always sacrifices looming. I don't know, some knight g5 could be a viable option. Take, take, and then there's this. He plays it simple. Maybe I should stop this. But let's keep... Let's keep the... The time advantage. The time advantage worked really well in the last game. Queen c8 or queen c7? Maybe queen c8. And go here. I will definitely long castle because my king is not safe on the other side of the board. Everything is here. So my king goes away from, from that everything. Mm. Let's see what he does. B3. Wow. Okay, he's trying to fight against my long castles. But he's giving me also some options like take, take, bishop, a free or something similar. Okay, I'll play it sharply. He's fighting against this, but I'm gonna do it. Objectively, it's I'm sure not great. Take, take, and I will try to pretend with bishop b4 and king b7, rook c8 that it's not so bad. And it probably is so bad. G5, I uh, will put the king on b8. Maybe the queen will be needing to come to the defense. That's why not on b7. If g5, I will take, take, go g6. I think. If h5, okay, goes there. I'm not sure if it's time to take on d4. I'll go rook c8 first. Clearly the file is going to open and my rook will be needed here. Take take knight b4. And you can notice that he can never take here because of this. Okay, knight h5, I go g6. Now he can suck a pawn, but I don't believe in it. Knight g7 is obviously bad. So he goes back and now I think it's time for what I was saying. Even though h5 could be you no, know, like take, take. He will get this square in the future. Okay, let's follow our plan. Like this knight holds my queen sentry squares, but still. There could be da dangers looming. Like bishop h4 and g5 and then takes and here or g5 immediately. Take take knight h5, queen e2. 
Bishop h4, there is a3. I'm not happy with that. Knight c6. No, it's fine actually. Let's do it. a3, I will go back, and if rook h5, I will take this, and d4 will hang. His pieces are uncoordinated now. You can take g6, that's fair enough, but again, the square will be for my queen. Available for my queen, sorry. Probably first g5. Now here, attack. Knight c2 is an option also to bring the rook in. This knight is bad for now, but doesn't matter. Okay, now I think I collect the pawn, but... How much counterplay will he have? Let's find out. He will have counterplay on this side of the board, that's for sure. But I can go h5 maybe? No, then there's rook h1. Uh, what to do then? Mm, I'm thinking for so long. Why am I thinking for so long? We'll just push. We can take this one also. Now he's playing for my time. It should have been the other way around, but whatever. I bungled this really badly, but there are still chances. I should have gone d4 and this. This is just a time scramble now, of course. Of course, this is a draw, but I have to win. Draw suits neither player anyway. But you can't win. Yeah, you can't win such positions. Okay, now we got somewhere. I don't know how. I don't know how. That was so bad. That was so bad. Uh, and though I don't even want to analyze this game yet. I don't know. I don't want to know what I missed. Twelfth place. Probably no chance, but we'll try. <laughs> yeah, we take those. That, that's what we're going to say. We take those. And probably in the end we get some Grishchuk or someone. Uh, just to just to 
like finish it finish it on a high but at least it was fun no matter what happens like i i don't want to know what happened in that game and we actually got a lot of rating back but let, let's see what happened there. this line is of course better for white but strategically it's not so easy to play and here here i, I and see if I was better, take, take. No, it wasn't. Oh, bishop f2? <laughs> okay. That one I should have seen, probably. And this counterplay is just good for him. It's just better for him. Okay. We get a 27 20, and it's actually an opponent which I faced in the Kazakhstan Cup stage 3, the one I was not streaming. You predict at least, yeah. Okay, let's see. The player I've played in the final stage of the Kazakhstan Cup, and I won easily with white. Um, but at that time, he played the Queen's Gambit. Now he plays the Slav. Let's see how much he knows about this. Okay, 95. There's some nice games I played in this line in the Hungarian League and some other tournaments. Knight d7, I'm not familiar with that move. Probably it's not so good, but I need to find out why. I mean, both captures seem to be reasonable. I will take this one. It might not be logical. Yeah, I probably should have taken c6. Now I think he gives me what I want. Knight a5, I think I go queen b6. Otherwise, I go knight b6 and this rook stays. Stays there. Ah, but he didn't see this. Like, knight c5 is not, not so good. Yeah, okay, now I messed it up. I messed it up. I was supposed to play rook c1 first, then there would be knight c5. But okay, whatever. We keep on fighting. They also make mistakes. I'm not the only one who makes mistakes. Rook c8, what is my plan even? Like, probably bishop d3. Doesn't seem like a logical move at first sight, but I have to get some space here. Okay. Let's chase the knight away. This bishop controls the c7 square, which is quite important. And these younger players, they usually, they usually don't play endgames so well, but it's just not a necessity, it's just how it usually is. You can go a4, like, a4 rooks is something. I mean, I will try. I have to try for something. Okay, b4, that seems like a strategical mistake. Now my... Maybe it's not a strategical mistake, I'm not sure. It always depends on the structure here. <clears throat> Not actually on the structure, but on how fast like, he can put the knight on the right square. Okay, let's... No, let's not do that. Let's make a look for the king for a start. He does the same. I need to improve the knight, but I'm not sure how to do that. Okay, let's exchange some pieces. Do I want the bishop for a knight and game? Probably not. He'll play rook c7, of course. <laughs> I 
Now if I was Magnus Carlsen, I would enjoy this position, but I'm not, so I'm not enjoying. F3 is aimed against uh, knight e4, of course. And the knight, is, my, my, my knight is not so good, but it controls the squares. And I will just try to expand here. Like when you don't have a great plan, usually you usually exchange, uh, not exchange, usually you see space. So that's what I'm doing right now. Bishop d6. Yeah, but I don't have much. I really don't have much here. This I want, like... Actually, I'm not sure what I want with that move. Maybe I'll have some ideas. Probably not, though. Maybe I can reroute the knight now, because now when after queen c3 take take... After queen c3 take take, my king is in time. Like, you can try some knight c4 trickery. Let's see. I mean, I have to win the game. Draw basically equals a, equals a loss at this point. Yeah, he does this stuff. I'm not sure if it's good for him or for me. I have no idea what's going on, but we'll see. Time scramble will decide this game. Okay, there we go. We get no, we don't get the win just yet. Started celebrating for no reason. And okay, now it should be over finally. I was probably lost. Somewhere there. But what to do? Okay. We got the rating back. We lost honorably. Sixth place, no prize, but we played honorably. And fought. I was probably supposed to take the C6 knight. Just to just to make the structure worse because here it didn't okay here blundered b5 just rook f c1 first and then knight f4 still better here it was it was just basically completely equal and 
I'm not sure about the knight c4 star. I can make a draw whenever I want with queen c1 and so on. But the draw gives no chance whatsoever. dc first. Knight e5 was better. Such an unhuman move. I wanted to protect the king. Okay, queen c5? Ah, it's a very interesting trick. Like king. And then d6 because. Yeah, seventh place. Not happy. Like, this is a very. No, sorry, king d2. Uh, no, sorry, d. And there is no threat. This is amazingly. There is no threat. This is covered, this is covered. And they just collect. That was funny. Queen b1. Okay, I was actually never lost, surprisingly. Don't see a win in one move. Lovely. And here he's supposed to go to d7. Whatever. Yeah, Nikola is right with the prediction. And Podjam is also right, at least 9, 8 out of 11. Yeah, Nikola, you're not touching the French anymore, but it's my my first love in chess. I'm playing it for 15 years. No, prizes aren't shared. At least I think they aren't. I don't know. I saw 95, but you didn't understand the position. Don't worry, I also understood nothing. Yeah, exactly. I was about to play queen. No, no, not queen d7. I was about to play queen d8. No, actually, yeah, queen d7 uh, after king d6. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the French lovers are there. Huh. Nakamura wins again. Malkumian is here. This is Alcantara, I suppose. Then there is Firuja. I'm 8th place in the end? <laughs> Even worse. But I'm ahead of Krishchuk. <laughs> Clearly there are some FM strong. What to do? Duda is also down. And then Draken. Yeah, horrible start. Like when you have a horrible start in Title Tuesday, you have no chance for a prize anymore. You have to win. You can afford yourself one mistake, one loss, and other than that, you have to win everything. Basically, everything. <sighs> um, can you please challenge me to an unrated game? Uh, hi, Pablo. No, I I have to go. Sorry about that. I have to end the stream now because I have other obligations. But there will probably will be some stream where you will be able to challenge me in the future. Yeah, Swiddler is playing sometimes. Okay, uh, thanks to everyone for, for watching. We had some fun. Uh, the late one I won't do. I won't be streaming. It was fun. It was... The game quality was awful. But... What to do? No, we won't have to... Probably won't have to wait for six months. Probably not. Okay, see you guys. Bye-bye.